Aptera, the first solar EV car with a 400 mile range. There are many electric vehicles or EVs on the market, but what if I told you a revolution is on the horizon that will completely alter everything? A solar powered vehicle that you can drive forever without ever needing to recharge. What is this car exactly and how does it operate? Welcome to Mana Tech, and today we are talking about the first solar EV car with a 400 mile range. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Do you have any queries in mind? Well, stay tuned because we'll respond to each and every one of them. With that note, let's get started. Now, the concept of a solar powered vehicle is not particularly novel. In actuality, General Motors established the concept of a solar car in the 1950s with their test Sunmobile. In other words, this concept has been around for more than 70 years. Everyone was aware of it, but no one attempted to implement the notion because of the cost of constructing something similar was too expensive. Additionally, technology at the time was so advanced that if someone had created a solar powered car, it would have been a complete failure. But in 2005, a corporation entered the picture. It's Aptera. They developed the idea for a solar powered vehicle. However, the issues persisted. Even while technology has improved, it's still not very sophisticated. You could sum it up by saying that they arrived a little too early. The enterprise met its unavoidable demise in 2011, and the business was shut down. However, if something is important to you, you should attempt to do it regardless of the results, as Elon Musk once said. The company was revived in 2019, and they currently appear to be in good shape. Additionally, they appear to be a business that will improve the auto sector. They are establishing the foundation for the first automobile powered by solar energy. What aspect of a solar car might be the most crucial? Well, of course, it's the solar panel, and for that reason, it will be the first topic that we will discuss. In truth, they do make use of monocrystalline cells. The surface is an iridescent blue, though, and changes colors as you move in different directions because it's a power crystalline cell. The interesting feature is that a copper matrix holds it together on the back, so you don't actually lose any of the cell's capacity if it breaks or develops a micro crack. A broken or completely shattered cell will likely provide about 95% of the power of a normal cell with no damage, even if it's cracked or completely shattered. They need these solar installation packages to ensure at least 10 years of long-term profitability. It's the finest method for maximizing the profit from this car. The cell can be under stress from the manufacturing process and thus having a cell that is understood in this aspect is advantageous. Every Aptera comes with the dash and roof solar as standard, with the hood or the rear hatch available as options. The daily solar recharge can be increased from 16 to 40 miles per day for an additional $900. Really, it's a fair price. Therefore, if you're interested in purchasing this first ever solar car, I advise you spending the extra $900. However, if you choose the upgrade package, the solar panel will cover the entire rear glass, which will reduce visibility a little. However, Aptera claims that this is not a problem because they would have already considered it and created a vision system that would assist you with the loss of visibility. The 700 solar array on Aptera, which has been completely updated, is extremely impressive. Keep in mind too that you won't ever get 700 watts of power because the cells follow the body of the car's curve and receive varying quantities of sunlight during the day. Aptera travels 40 miles in what way? The car's design provides the solution. The car has a futuristic appearance when you look at it. The Aptera was so amazing when it was originally revealed that it was even spotted in 2009 on the set of a Star Trek movie. This isn't your typical family station wagon. Every effort has been made to achieve the lowest possible weight and drag coefficient. Due to its wind cheating teardrop shape and entirely fed in wheels, the drag was reduced to 0.13. To put this into perspective, a Tesla Model S Plaid has a drag coefficient of 0.208 compared to 0.27 for a Toyota Camry and 0.37 for a Cadillac Escalade. When you consider these figures, you may appreciate how negligibly low 0.13 is. The car's weight is the second factor assisting it. It weighs only 2,000 pounds, yet the material used to make the car is both flexible and seven times stronger than steel. 
Due to this, the car has an advantage over rival vehicles in the race. The vehicle is up to four times more efficient than typical electric sedans due to its weight and smooth aerodynamic design. The company claims that it makes about 10 miles per kilowatt hour. The EV can travel up to 1,000 miles on a single charge as a record breaker for the industry. I'm still aware that you all must have numerous inquiries. What happened if the sun doesn't shine or if the car runs out of fuel? Well, Aptera, however, hopes that the time will never come when the car runs out of fuel. However, you can recharge this automobile like a typical EV should that regrettably occur. They provide 25, 40, 60, and 100 kilowatt hour battery packs. Even a common wall socket that you use for your televisions and laptops can add up to 15 miles per hour because it can go 10 miles per kilowatt hour. Consequently, if you leave it plugged in all night, you will have 120 miles by 8 a.m. An electrician can still install a level 2 fast charger, but you are not required to. Many problems can be resolved by increasing the number of kilowatt hours used for every dollar spent. This automobile has only three wheels right now. It's possible that you believe it would be problematic, but you won't notice the change because of how evenly the Aptera divided the weight. Although it just has two seats, the car is roomy as well. The manufacturer claims that this vehicle is so roomy that you could even sleep in it with the seats reclining. Amazing, isn't it? The manufacturer claims that the vehicle can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds. For such a small automobile, that seems rather quick, right? In the more expensive models of the car, there are also driver assistance features. There is still not a lot of information on it though, but I imagine it would function similarly to any other driver assistance system. I guess you get the picture. The remaining two questions that you might have are when it will be available and how much the car will cost. Although the pricing and release date are not yet known, the production is only rumored to begin in 2022, so we may anticipate it before and beginning at the end of the year. Additionally, the cost of the car might range anywhere from $259 to $49,000. It won't be too much to pay if it starts at $25,000 though. Now this car will surely revolutionize the whole electric vehicle market. There will be no need to charge and it will go for a long time, even though it is just said to have three wheels. As I said earlier, the production was supposed to start in 2022 only, but we have no new news about that. However, we do know that by 2024, Aptera wants to deliver these cars internationally, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. This was all about the Aptera. It does have some great new features and we would love to see what more we'll get. If we get new updates, we will bring that directly to you as fast as possible, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Also, do let me know what your thoughts are about this car in the comment section below, and what you think the most interesting feature in this car is according to you. Thank you very much for joining us, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.